La 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 Bless you, child. La 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 See you later. Oh yeah. What is up, sons? It's Blind Run! With Sound of Attack once again. Today, I am headed to Best Buy. Why am I headed to Best Buy? That's a good question. I'm headed to Best Buy because I want a another GoPro. A new GoPro. A new and better and improved GoPro. Uh, it doesn't mean we're actually getting rid of this GoPro. This GoPro is a Hero Session, Hero 5 Session, 1080p, 60 FPS, whatever. I picked it up used for like 60 bucks. It works out pretty. Don't mind me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sundresses. It's that time of year, boys. Get on your motorcycles and go for a ride. There's good stuff outside. You know what I'm saying? So, what was I talking about again? Oh, yeah. We're not going to get rid of the session. I'm just going to get a handlebar bar mount for the session. And then that way, we have two perspectives. Because sometimes I bet you guys just want to see my ugly face. Everybody wants me to go vote for people. Guess what? I don't vote. It's a scam. Okay, so I worked like non-stop. I have been sitting at my computer playing Magic the Gathering and hitting refresh. That, that, was, that was my work. All night last night and all day today doing PowerShell commands and blah 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 trying to fix some shit. I think we're all in the clear right now so I'm taking that time to run up to Best Buy. I want to get the black. So when I was looking at the three, there's three different models. There's what? The GoPro Hero 7, um, black, silver, and white. The only one that you can do that little USB to three and a half millimeter like in lav mic conversion with is the black unfortunately so i could keep doing it the way i am now which is uh record go back sync based on a clap at the beginning of the recording and then once all of that is complete you know um it's all synced up and ready to go but if I get basically what would be a third device, that would be third th three things that I have to sync, which means extra shit to go wrong. So I figured might as well get the GoPro that has the audio capabilities. I bet we can get that working pretty well. And then if we have that, we'd only have to sync the session to the GoPro Hero 7. I'm also super excited to see what it looks like and how clean and, and shit it is um and then seeing if we can get the the handlebar mount for the rest of this i don't think they have the the helmet accessory at best buy because they didn't for the session of course this is an old one this is a session maybe they have it for the hero 7 being new and such that's a that's a possibility. I want to thank everybody for the support for, yeah, I guess at this point, yesterday's video, which is today for me. We just released it. I was just talking about what happened to all the mining, cryptocurrency mining content on the channel. Uh, thanks for all the love and support there. Hope to see you guys uh, continue the support with more moto vlogs. I think we had literally the best moto vlog uh, we've ever had with the story time. So we'll have to do some more of those, which was the that time I almost got shot. I'll link it up in the corner. Uh, one of those corners for you guys to check out. And uh, if you haven't checked it out yet. Yeah, only 400 views. And you're talking to a guy that used to get over a thousand within the first 24 hours all the time. 
Hence why we followed that video up explaining, you know, what's going on with all that. Why does my mirror always get jacked up? Five O! Five O! Five O! Go fast! Go fast! I wanted to see him take off. He didn't. Bummer. Bummer, dude. Alright, so one of the things I've learned about moto vlogging is you guys aren't going to be able to hear shit right now unless I yell. And then it's going to get all fuzzy. So we stay on the back roads for the moto vlogs. We do have like a lab mic. I think it sounds pretty damn good compared to pretty much all the other moving or motion sports stuff that I've seen. That's weird. He has some like specifically some very Euro looking wheels on that Mustang. I think I disagree with that styling choice on a Mustang. Not that I don't like those wheels or that Mustang. I just don't like those wheels on that Mustang. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I think you know what I'm saying. All right, so we're gonna slow our roll down. I really wanted to like hit up some shops. I mean, motorcycle shops today. I do know a lot of people, so I was almost thinking of, uh, I mean, I have to like reopen those relationships, I suppose. But I was thinking about, uh, I know the shop I used to work for here in San Antonio, they don't have like new bikes ever, right? But I was thinking about going and talking to him and seeing if he would let me like do like used bike reviews. And then we could just be like, yo, if you want to pick it up, go pick it up here at XXX shop. And um, so I, I need to go reach out and see if I can actually do that. Cause that would be super sick. Um, and it's a little bit easier than for me in like the tech industry where like I don't really have like connections at AMD and NVIDIA to like try shit out right but then it would also be kind of interesting because it wouldn't be like all new bikes it'd just be like check out this 1994 Honda Goldwing or something you know crazy shit like that seems fun um, of course we would have to like it'd be insane because You'd have to do all the B-roll. I don't know. It could be pretty fun. Do like one every other weekend or something like that. I still have to actually follow through. That's the thing about like especially content creation. Is like you come up with all the ideas and then you got to execute. I usually get pretty good at the execution part. Um, but I'm just clarifying because the, the part, the execution part that I'm not good at is the part that requires uh, social interaction. <laughs> so the, part, the the things I don't execute on are if I have to actually talk to someone, right? Like I won't execute on that. For whatever reason, whatever is built into my personality, those are the ones I have the biggest problem executing on. Let me know what you guys have the hardest problems executing on. I know some people just have problems like executing on like mundane work, like uh, which makes it hard to do things like coding, etc. Um, or doing your books. I hear a lot of people have issues doing their taxes. They always push it off and push it off and push it off because it's just a boring task. What is it that you fail to execute on? What prevents you most of the time from executing on something? Let me know in the comments down below. That'd be a super interesting topic, maybe for another time. Today is the GoPro Hero 7. And maybe a quick bike rinse. I was noticing a bird took a shit on my seat, so I'm sitting on shit. Which means we gotta go. You know, I, I knocked it off. It was hard already. I kind of just knocked it off. But still, I'm sitting on shit. Dude, green means go! Whoop, whoop. Goon!
<laughs> oh, what little hills! I want to get that. Have you guys seen that new electric supermoto bike, or the electric bike that uh, the electric motocross bike uh, is built on the same platform? And Josh Hill uh, got into the top eight at the Red Bull uh, Rhythms. What was it last week? Two weeks ago? Something like that. Pretty cool. But they have a supermoto version too. Um, I don't know how much they are. I went to their website and I tried to find a dealer. I clicked find a dealer. There was no... Uh, the find a dealer thing was broken. So it said, hey, go ahead and... Uh, sign up for a demo and then we'll reach out to you so I did that what was it last night last night so I don't know if that means I, I, I don't know what that means yet um, we'll find out I suppose at some point um, I don't know if they'll email me and then they have like dates and times that they're gonna be in specific areas um, who knows? Park right on the pillar. All right, boys. I'm going to go check out this GoPro. All righty, sons. I think we did it. Um, I don't know what kind of perspective the, the face cam has. Uh, but it seems legit. I think we can, like, turn it up a little bit, turn it down. I don't know. Something like that. That seems right. And then... Uh, we have the GoPro Hero 7, which uh, I charged off of my battery pack for like five minutes while I put on this handlebar mount for the session, uh, and it got to 23%, something along those lines. Now, I wanted to go wash my bike, but I don't have time, so we're not gonna. I also don't like where it made me put my cell phone cell phone's kind of in the way which is weird and they didn't have the mic converter so we have like three different things to sync up right now which is fine it's fine we can get that all worked out um see if we can order that other piece online um but now we have a gopro hero hero 7 and uh it does 4k but only 4k 30 but it does what it said 21k at 60 which isn't 1440 i don't know what 21k means so typically you have like 1080p 1440p and then 2k which just confused everything uh or 4k which just confused everything which the 4000 is the width so I thought 21k or 2.1k would be almost 4k I don't know what that means I'm gonna have to actually put it into Adobe and see what it is because I have no idea um, but I'm super excited to get back and see what this footage looks like I don't have time to go wash the bike unfortunately but uh, if I get everything charged up we'll go out and do another moto vlog in the morning hopefully like before it gets too uh too hot but boy let me tell you it's pretty fucking hot out uh it's not bad when you're moving though like i'm fine now but when i was sitting trying to get this handlebar mount on and shit it was hot U-Haul! Ride equipment, lowest cost. Fuel efficient, easy to drive, and you can tow your motherfucking car. Reserve today. U-Haul.com slash son of a tech. Thanks for using that referral code. Just kidding. Wouldn't that be dope if you were sponsored by U-Haul, though? Just be like, I need to move this weekend. <laughs> I'm gonna go borrow a U-Haul truck from my sponsor. I am pretty stoked to be having uh, the full moto vlog set up. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty exciting to have like two perspectives and all of that goodness. 
like I said, my, my cell phone mount is not in a position that I like. But I will uh, figure that out at a later date, I suppose. I gotta get home and apparently work some more. Some things aren't working right. Um, so I'm gonna get home and figure that out. And then uh, if I have some time tonight, I wanna stream, on, I wanna play some Bayonetta 2. For you guys, this will be uh, last night. But you can always follow on twitch.tv slash blindrun. So the full moto vlog setup now is a GoPro Hero 7 with the uh, helmet mount that you can now pick up uh, at Best Buy, which I actually need to pick up because I already had one. They even had the handlebar mount, which will work on uh, traditional handlebars, not like clip-ons. Um, so if you have clip-ons, then I don't, I don't think this would work. There might be something else you need to check out. And then we have the GoPro Hero Session. Uh, I think it's Hero 5 Session, which actually is kind of perfect for the face cam because it doesn't get in the way of my instrument cluster and can sit right there very nicely. So I kind of like that. Ah, and then we have a Rode Lavalier microphone that runs down uh, the interior of my jacket and into my pocket which is a Zoom H1 audio recorder, which I've had for years. It was a present from Slangerang. Um, and I've just used the ever-living piss out of it for so many different things. So super shout out to Slang for that. Uh, it's pretty cool. I've had it for forever. Uh, they don't seem to have the generation of mine. Uh, so I'll link one, but the, you can usually find these other ones a little bit cheaper used. I have like an old white one. It seems to work okay. I did buy an SD card. I have another 128 gigabyte, but the other 128 gigabyte is in the big, the big camera. Oh, uh, speaking of, I guess I need to get like a selfie stick and some stuff like that at some point, uh, either for the session or for the seven. I, I don't know. Maybe before QuakeCon or something along those lines. I like this turn. Is there anybody behind me? Nope. Break hard. Go. I don't like doing quick stops if anybody's behind me. Especially on a bike because a bike stops so much quicker than a car. Um, so always check behind you. If you're going to miss a turn and you're like, oh, I can break hard and make it. Make sure first you check behind you. Because sure, you can break hard and make it on a bike. But the dude behind you can't brake hard. And then, whoop, you get a cager up your ass. Cagers up your ass already happen all the time. There's no reason to fucking make it your fault that he's up your ass. So that's the complete moto vlog setup now as it sits, which is uh, pretty much like, as far as I understand, the best moto vlog setup you could have. Well, I mean, I guess another GoPro Hero 7 on the front would be the best you could have, right? Um, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, $800 in GoPro seems ridiculous. $80 plus the 400 seems completely reasonable. Which maybe two sessions was the answer, right? And, uh, I will be recording in the 60 FPS option because it just looks so much better. Especially for, like, I don't even know why you'd want an action sports cam with the 30 FPS option. I'm not really sure why you would want that. Like the only, I get it. They got to check that box off for 4K. Um, so I get it, but fuck man. That's just checking off a box that I don't think you would ever use in an action cam. If you think differently, let me know down in the comment section below. <sighs> I love this SV. So easy to ride, man. Beard! The view on the way home was not as good as the view on the way here. 
Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed me picking up a GoPro Hero 7. And uh, hopefully you guys got a good comparison uh, between the two. And then I hope that adding the other view high is good. I'll see you next Tuesday.